What's up, pro wrestling fans? We're back with some more pro wrestling talk, and this is some funny ish right here. And I gotta say, I didn't catch it at first, neither. As we know, social media, social network, there's a lot of trolls out there, a lot of crazy humor, and just different concepts when it comes to accounts. And um, it seems like in the world of pro wrestling, there's some really wacky, zany stuff going on, and it's hard to keep up with everyone who's who who's serious who's clowning around and it seems mark henry who uh didn't renew his aew contract he didn't know neither he was taking this as serious and clapping back you see first um these are i think two different individuals first maybe this is why he was tripping though because people are saying stuff like this uh to him like this guy says mark henry came into aew thinking he was going to have a sting type run and then um, Mark Henry says, wrong. Uh, this guy, where is it? Um, oh, right here. Mark Henry leaving AEW isn't a surprise. He came to work behind the scenes and be a commentator for Rampage. Also wanted an in-ring return if the chance uh, arose. Jericho took his spot and eventually reduced to a soundbite. Plus, he wasn't afraid to voice his opinion on company matters. Mark's like, wrong, not worth explaining. So you see he's already, you know, uh, losing his patience with a lot of the talk going on about him leaving AEW in, in the blogosphere in this wrestling Twitter world. I still hate calling it X, so I don't. But check it out. This is where it got crazy. So, uh, again, there's a lot of people having fun. Um, hold on a second. I to, I'll share a little bit of game with you guys. It's not like it's a um, big game that someone doesn't always know already, but it's something we may forget to do sometimes. Um, so check it out. AEW Neckbeards. <laughs> That's a funny ass name, right? That should have said something to me as well. But he says, all he does is trash AEW anyways. Good riddance. And then you see Trader. Mark Henry is leaving AEW. Trader spelled wrong, right? It's T-R-A-I. T-O-R, Traitor, right? He spelled it like Trader Joe's, but still spelled that wrong as well. Mark Henry says, it's, I was wondering how you could misspell such a simple word, right? He's getting pissed here. And he says, uh, you continue to crit, uh, you confuse critiquing with trashing just because you didn't know, don't know what you're talking about. Just because you watch something don't mean you know it. I've seen surgeries, but I can't do it, right? He's no doctor. And um, he's saying, this guy don't know what he's talking about. He don't know the wrestling biz. But you see Mark Henry was saying critiquing. So for all the AEW fans that have been staying up on everything, what did he say critical about AEW? Comment, fill me in. Make sure to subscribe to We're Talking Pro Wrestling over here. Always need the input and response from the people out there, you know? And um, check the replies here. So, uh, Mark, he's a satire account. He's mocking the people who you say trash the product. Um, or I'm sorry, he's mocking the people who you say trash the product. He's also confused by the word spelling of the word trader. Mark, AEW Neckbeer is a parody account like The Onion. Okay, so... I didn't know this. And uh, no, Mark, that's a troll account. And right here, AEW Neckbeard says, read my bio. Now, again, AEW Neckbeard, the name itself should have spoke to me, right? I should have I should have peeped what was going on, but I didn't, right? You go to this guy's bio, kill them with passive aggressiveness, mask as kindness, parody of crazy AEW fans, executive producer of Tooney Talk Wrestling. So it's all right there. That was the game, the gem that I was talking about whenever, uh, you know, in doubt on social network, go check out the bio. Like, that's not like that's breaking news. We all know this, but sometimes I forget to do it. And um, it, it was all right there and in the name as well. But Mark Henry wasn't having it. He was like, man, I know traitor. I trash the product. Guy's just having fun busting his balls all along. <laughs> Uh, laugh my, right here, laugh my fucking ass off. Damn, Mark Henry got worked. He got worked. He did. I guess I got worked as well. Pause, right? I didn't know, um, I didn't know there was a parody account. 
need to be wearing this for your post. Laugh my effing ass off, poor neck beard. Mark doesn't know you're a parody page. I tried setting the record straight earlier. I got your back, fam. So, um, I don't know. There you have it. Mark Henry is indeed gone from AEW, but it seems he just didn't want to renew his contract, but came on here, wasn't in the mood, and got worked. <laughs> That's some pretty funny stuff. But uh, comment with your thoughts across the board about the parody account type humor and, um, you know, him leaving the company and all that. And, um, oh, yeah, something else, too. Real quick, before I close it out, Adam Copeland says he fractured his tibia roughly around a four to six month recovery. He will need surgery. No idea next. What's next for the TNT championship? Mark Henry says, get well soon. He wishes, wishes him well wishes. But that's so wild to think about, right? Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar edge. It's like such a shame anytime a wrestler gets hurt, right? But think about the run this guy's been on. What was that way back in 2006 or seven? He had that serious injury that he just had to walk away from pro wrestling. I believe it was like a vertebrae, right? Like neck, spine, back injury, right? It was something very bad. And he relinquished the big gold belt right there on SmackDown. And if I'm not mistaken, Great Khali won it in a battle royal. And it was like what many say was the worst uh, SmackDown champ ever. <laughs> and, um, he was gone. He left. So just a few years back, all those years later, you know, where he never thought he'd wrestle again, he's back in shape. I guess uh, the right doctor was able to clear him and everything. And he's been amazing since he came back, ran with the Judgment Day, ended up leaving the Judgment Day, working an amazing program with him, uh, with them. Him and his wife got in the mix, intergender tag matches and all that. Um just looking greater than ever, like drinking from the fountain of youth and everything. And after a couple of years after that WrestleMania, we all know the way it went. Like, is he going to retire? Is he going to sign this contract? And then next thing you know, he turns up in AEW, which everyone that I've been seeing has been loving what he's been doing in AEW. And then now this kind of injury, four to six months, that's rough for uh, Adam Copeland the rated R superstar edge, whatever you want to call the man. But you know what? I think he'll be back. I, I do. I mean, like everything that he went through, all the trials and tribulations to get back in shape, I can't see him letting this end his career. But, hey, maybe some people will look at it that, you know, the injuries he al already had, all the, you know, um, effects on his body over the years of being in the pro wrestling biz, although he was away from it for a while. But um, this this injury could be what knocks him off his pivot and he could lose his conditioning. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that's that's tough for Edge, man. That's some real uh, – or I'm sorry, Cope. That's tough for Cope to see, see that go down. So comment with your thoughts about everything. Subscribe. Once again, talking pro wrestling talk over here. Need, need to hear from all the people. Uh, so comment, parody accounts, Mark Henry, AEW, Cope. Look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.